This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Face tracking, object tracking, right inside Final Cut, automatically, no plugins, using the new tracking feature. Let's go. We are in Final Cut Pro version 10.6. That's important because that's when they added the tracking feature, which we're gonna be using. First things first, when it comes to shooting, two things. You want to leave enough space outside of your frame that you're gonna be able to move that image around within the frame. We're gonna zoom in on this, and then that's gonna give us a bumper around the outsides to be able to move this image around. That's the first thing. Second thing is, you're gonna to wanna to over crank. I am extremely over cranked. It's very bright, sunshine right here. I really don't think you can go too high on the shutter because you just want no motion blur to be able to make the camera motion that we're creating look more normal, okay? Third thing, if the object you're tracking does not get obscured, that's gonna be the easiest way to do it. If you can see the thing you're tracking in screen, on frame for the entire time, that's gonna make it as easy as possible on you. I'm just gonna drop down into the timeline uh, the, the clip of the clip that I wanna use, and then I'm gonna tap C, which zooms uh, in so that the whole clip is, is right there. Okay, first things first, come up here to the video inspector, tap on that, and just make this entire clip like 185 big, all right? And then I'm gonna move it over a little bit just so that I'm on frame. I was a little bit off center here, like ideally I would have been center frame, but it still worked, thankfully. So just bring that over. You can see I'm in frame this whole time. What I'm going to do is duplicate this, all right? So Command C and then come over here, Command V. So we just have a duplicate of it. Now, come back to the original. This is where the hat comes in. What we're gonna do is we're going to come here to the transform over in the inspector and make this scale negative 185 on the X axis, which is gonna mirror it, and then make this scale on the Y axis negative 185. Okay, now it's upside down. Go ahead and adjust it so that it's back on screen. So now we have the same thing, but it's just upside down. Squarespace, it's your all-in-one, one-stop shop for building your online presence. Get a domain name there, fantastic presets and templates for you to be able to create and sculpt just a very professional looking website. You can build a shop right on your site, you can sell stuff right on your site, you can book calendar appointments, you can build an email list, marketing, all the tools you need to build your online presence. If you wanna try it out, you can go to squarespace.com slash Cody Warner to get a free two week trial. And then when you're ready to buy, use the code Cody Warner to get 10% off your first purchase. Next, we're gonna come down here to the very bottom of that inspector, right down at the bottom of all of those options and add a tracker in. It brings up this massive tracker. What I wanna do is make this really small, just my face basically. So I made it really small, put it here. I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna zoom in to 200 just to make sure that I have it right over top of my face. Only my face and my nose. Thankfully there's some like high contrast, should be able to track me pretty good. Once I've got it selected, the thing I wanna track, I'm gonna hit analyze. Analyzed it, looks pretty good. All right, take this duplicated clip, slide it right up here on top of our recently tracked clip, and then tap on the transform button right here. Come up here to tracker, and you can see it already did something weird. This is why it's more of a hack. Like this isn't built in. We're just, we're making this thing work for us, all right? It also made a new tracker, which I didn't want it to do. There's probably a way around that, but click on the down arrow next to tracker object track, the very first one. That's the one that we just made. And you can see here, it has this, that's the little one that we just made, all right? Come over to right above position across from transform. When you hover over that, uh, this hide thing pops up and I'm gonna take rotation off. I don't want our clip to be rotating. I only want it to just be moving around in space. Okay, so uncheck rotation. Somehow this got rotated. I don't know why that happened. So I'm just gonna change the rotation back to zero here. Make sure that rotation is not checked there. Rotation is at zero. We're good to go. We're gonna have to unmirror this top clip, okay? So scale X, we're gonna change that to negative 185 and then Scale Y, negative 185. All right, now move it back into position so we're on the frame. And then go up here to just scale all the whole way down to negative 100 is where we want it. You can see as I'm scrolling through, 
my face is being tracked. So let's hit done over here. I'm gonna go up here to view, tap on show horizon. That's gonna show me center frame. And then let's just bring this clip right over. And weirdly enough, like controls are inverted at this point. So you'll figure this out, but I'm sliding this the opposite way than I would think I would be sliding it. Um, once we have that right center frame, I'm gonna take the horizon off of it and we're gonna take a look at how this looks. Right there you saw it pops in. I, I didn't have quite enough on the side there. Basically what that means is I have to bring it a little bit off perfect center. So just slide this right back over so that doesn't come in off the side. You could also crop in further if you needed to, if that happens to you, but I'm just adjusting it over just a bit. Bam, that's it. That's how you object track using zero plugins automatically in Final Cut 10.6. All right, I got a couple of shortcuts for you that I've discovered since I've made the tutorial. First things first, you don't need to individually adjust the scale X and scale Y. You can just go right to scale all and change that from 100 to negative 185. Second shortcut, if you do that first and then duplicate the clip, all right, you're not gonna have to mirror it back once you track it. So it's flipped, you make a duplicate of it, you go, you run the tracker, then you slide your mirrored clip up on top of your now tracked mirrored clip, tap on the transform modifier, go right up here to the arrow next to tracker, don't click on tracker itself, and then tap on object track, which is the tracker that you just created. Bam, it mirrors back for you, and you're just gonna come over here to scale all, once again, and bring that down to negative 100. Bring the rotation back to zero, and then come hover over here next to transform and take that rotation off if you don't want it to be tracking rotation. Those are some shortcuts that I found since I made the tutorial. If you watch this far, you get the shortcuts. Everyone else is like gonna spend an, an extra minute doing this.